Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Follow KDB is changing the narrative. Don't follow what he says. Forget whatever he says. Just follow KDB TV on YouTube right now. Now what is what is that my view is? Spin for it, spin for it, spin for it, spin for it. There we go. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Ooh, oh my <laughs> God. Ooh. Oh my god, she's giving me shady right here. Oh my god. Do a spin for us. Do a spin for the camera. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. So like, baby girl, can you like just spin for us right now? Ooh. Oh my god. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Ooh. I don't know if you like what you see, but I like what I see. Like, yes, guys. I have this goddess right in front of me. I'm like, I don't even know, bro. Like, I can't even think right now. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. And she has such nice set of teeth. Baby girl, just spin for it, spin for it, spin for it, spin for it, spin for it. There we go. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Ooh, oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. She's giving me shivers right now, bro. By the way, baby girl, what's your name? What's your name? What's My name is Naya. Naya, it's nice to meet you. I'm Uncle Sam Serving Rights, and this is KDB TV. I uh, just wanted to know, are you a student here? I am. Oh my god, what are you studying? I'm coming from class, criminal justice. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. So you want to do criminal law and things like yes. that? Yes. I like that, I like that ambition yes. right there. Beauty and brains, you know Thank what I'm saying? You. That's what's up, that's what's up. So real quick, I always change your time. We just want to know, what's the craziest thing you ever did for love? And how did it end up with that person? I was in love before. Um. Okay, the craziest thing I ever did. One time he wasn't trying to let me leave his house, but I was trying to leave, you know, but we were in love, so we didn't want to leave each other. But I wanted to leave, and he left, but he hid my keys. So I was like, where are my keys? Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Yeah. And he wasn't trying to tell me where they were. So eventually, he told me they were in a shoebox. So I went to the closet, and I threw all the shoeboxes oh everywhere. Oh, my God. I threw them, all of them. I and found I'm the sure keys in the first box, but mm -hmm. I took all the shoeboxes, and I threw them. And I'm sure I know. And I didn't leave. So guys, that's how it ended up. I know. Guys are very, very <laughs> peculiar about their shoes. I'm sure he would have been feeling crazy because he would have been like, you want to put a crease on my shoe and stuff like that. I know. He was man. like, at least you didn't leave. Nah, that's that's I'm sure I guess he really loved you and stuff. <laughs> you guys end up did he did he end up doing anything that made you guys break up or you know what I'm saying? I just left because I felt like I needed to focus on myself. Ah, I see, I see. He's a good boy, boy though. He's a good boy? Yeah. Oh, she even said a good man. She said he's a good boy. Yeah. Boy, you're a good boy if you're watching this right now. Damn. Boy. So now we're ready for a man. And I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> But what's, what's one advice you have for people in love, you know what I'm saying? Love yourself first, and you won't do all the craziness. You won't do all the crazy stuff. I know, right? You'll have self-control, and you'll know your worth, and you'll just leave a situation peacefully. Easy, easy. Peacefully. I like that. You got a boyfriend? No. Can I get your number after this? No. Oh, man. I stopped giving my number out, but you can follow me. You're breaking my heart right now. Why? You get to follow me. I know, I follow you, but I want, I want to take it to the manly level. That's when we get your number, you know what I'm saying? I know, but... I'm trying to take this Jamaican goddess to Nigeria, you <laughs> feel me? I do want to go. I got you, you know? Okay. I feel you, I got you, I got but you. But right now, I have to go to a photo shoot, Nah, I so. feel you, man. Just tell, just give them your Instagram name because you're too... I don't okay, know, Okay, man, my like. Instagram is Naya Chalker, N-Y-A-H-C-H-A-L-K-E-R, a.k.a. Naya's World. You could also subscribe to my YouTube channel same handle please subscribe to your youtube channel guys this, this is a, <laughs> let, let her give us one more spin you know what i'm saying spin for us baby girl Ooh, oh my god let me just hug you come right here come right here that's nice man appreciate appreciate thank, thank you so much what's up guys welcome to kdb tv you already know what it is it's your boy uncle sam Savin rights the ussr and i got here with me who karan what do you say karan that's nice karan what, what are you doing here are you a student 
Yeah, I'm a student at FIU, studying oh. business. Studying I'm an athlete business? too, yeah. Oh, you're an athlete? What, what sports you play? I play rugby. You play rugby? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. All right. So today, without wasting your time, we just want to know, bro, like, you know, it's the month of love, you know what I'm saying? We're in the month of love. It's a Valentine month. And I just want to know, bro, like, what's the craziest thing you ever did for love? And how did you end up with that person? Was it was it something worth it? Or is it something you you regret you regret doing? Yeah, so for me, yeah. Thinking from like a, a relationship standpoint, the craziest thing I did for love, I gave a lot of time, a lot of commitment, spent like a whole bunch of money, travel, right? And um it didn't turn out we didn't stay together, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, uh it ended in a friendship, but a lot of that time and money I could have been putting towards investing in myself investing mm -hmm. into my career investing into you know the things that i was working on and it set me back but in a way i learned from it and another the second thing i thought about like the craziest thing i did yeah. for love like the the true meaning of love which is what you find in god i gave mm -hmm. up everything for it so i gave up my life and what i wanted um what, what, what did you want that you gave up for god tell us what did i want yeah what did you want what did i want out of that no, 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 what did you want that you gave up for God? You were like, you gave it, you oh, just said you gave it. What, you, what did up, you want? I gave up the world. I gave up, man, partying. I gave up living living a life that doesn't that doesn't align with his word. I gave up, you know, talking to multiple women, doing, you know, certain things that, you know, God doesn't allow, man. So mm -hmm. I gave it up different things, you know. Well, guys, you already heard that. He gave up a lot for the world. But it's so funny, you know. Now there's a lot of people do so much for love and like they still get heartbroken like did you ever feel like after all that money you invested on that girl because i want to touch more importantly on that girl i know we, we all know god's love is very oh, yeah, oh, yeah. important we already know that and i say but i want to touch more importantly on that on that girl bro like did you ever feel like you, you were heartbroken like did you ever feel after oh, yeah, spending all this time did you ever feel heartbroken like how did you feel like give us a rundown bro i just want to know you know what i'm saying for sure man i feel like uh it was a feeling of betrayal, man, you know, because she knew how much time I was putting into building myself and then also investing into that relationship, too. So I feel like it was a little disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, uh, I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. But thank you so much, Koran. What was one thing, you know, it's the season of love. What's like that one thing you want to leave with the people, you know what I'm saying? What's that one thing? What's that one advice about love? No God talk right now, bro, because I know you. I see you about this God, God, God. No, 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 right here. What's that one thing you want to advise people out there with love right now? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Only thing I can say, bro, is if you want true love, you got to go to the source. Who's it? <laughs> it's the truth. I thought I said no God talk right now. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. All right, bro. Easy, man. Easy, man. What's, what's it? You look, you're looking kind of nice and saucy, bro. What's the Instagram for the ladies, bro? Nah, I don't got nothing for the ladies. I got something for all the people, though. It's at Ron Resilient. That's my Instagram. You said what? I don't got nothing for the ladies, but it's Ron Resilient. R O N. Spell it for me. R O N R E S I L I E N T. All right, bro. That's good, man. It's nice. Thank you for helping on, man. Appreciate that, bro. Yeah, you already know what it is. It's Uncle Sam back here again. And I'm here with Daniel. Daniel, are you a student? Um, I don't know if it makes it obvious, but I guess. Yes, I guess. Looking at all trippy with those Yeezys. Oh, my God, Daniel. I feel... How how much does this fit cost, though? Tell me. Tell me. How much does this fit cost? Let me see. Uh, I think these... This was a gift from my dad. Oh, okay. The shirt, I think it was like $30. Okay. These, I bought for like 12 And then the Yeezys, I bought for like 280 I feel... I feel... I feel the drip, though. I feel the drip, though. But without wasting your time right now, bro, I'm just going to hit the nail on the head, bro. What's the craziest thing you ever did for love? And how did it end with that person all right well first off i didn't end up with that person but i did once say um she wanted a book and i just outright told my dad hey please buy me this book and i was like and i bought it to her and all i got was a hug damn just a hug yeah. was it was it like an intimate hug or like a church hug you know hugs are some hugs can be kind of intimate you know what i'm saying but was it like a church hug or just uh was it an intimate hug w what kind of hug was it it was like a, it was like a, like a church hug. Yeah, that's it. How, how much did the book cost though? Like, you know what I'm saying? How much did it cost? Man, I don't remember, but it should have been like $7. $7? Seven dollars? Seven dollars? Actually, no. It, it was more. I think it was like $20. Twenty dollars? Yeah. I mean, come on, bro. Twenty dollars for a church hug? If I was the girl, that's what I would have given you too, bro. Twenty dollars? 
That's I'm like how that's like two just one McDonald's meal, bro. You got bro, you gotta you gotta suss up the game and you know you gotta be different, bro. How are you gonna give a twenty dollars a twenty dollar book and you're expecting some kind of extraordinary hug, bro? Come on. I guess, I guess. I was this was in middle school, so Oh, middle school. I mean, we were all kids in middle school, yeah, so I, I get you. But, I mean, if you hear my own story in middle school, bro, when I was in middle school, if you hear what I did for love, bro, you're going to be you're gonna be busting your ass on the floor right now, bro. I'm going to tell you, bro, this one girl, she used to cook, like, street food. And trust me, bro, it's like, I left my house. I sneaked out of my house by 12.30 a.m. to go help her clean up a shop. And, bro, you know, it's so sad. She still left me, bro. Like, she left me for a guy that don't respect her. I shout at her in front of her parents, bro. So you can't. I feel you on that. I'm feel telling you, it was it was so heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying, but I mean, at the end of the day, bro. But let's. What, what's that one advice you have for like people, bro? Like for young people that believe in love, you know. What's that one advice you have? For I mean, I just say, just wait for the right one. Don't try to rush it too much. Um, just keep keep on doing what you're doing. Just keep grinding, making that money, and then. The hose will come. Easy, 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 easy. Quick question for you before you go. Quick question for you. What do you what do you have to say to people that believe or they think that sex is love? What do you have to say to them? Uh, I think sex is a very sacred uh, form of like communicating. I wouldn't say communicating, but I would say more of like expressing your love and you know transferring energy between you and your loved one. That's I say sex is. For me, it's very sacred, so I'm saving myself up for the right one. Okay, okay, saving myself up for the right one. Do you watch your Instagram for the ladies? You know, you, that special one might be watching, and she's like, okay, he's saving himself, I'm saving myself too. Well, it might be a beauty picture, you know what I'm saying? Watch your Instagram, bro. Spell it out for them. Yeah, I got you. It's L E underscore D A N I underscore C. All right, go get, say it again, say it again so they can, you know. L E underscore D A N I underscore C. Exactly, exactly. Also, all right, bro. Thank you so much. Please follow us on the on YouTube. It's KDB TV. I go by the name of Uncle Sam Seven Rice. All right, man. Thank you so much, bro. Look at this body right here. Oh my God! Do a spin for us. Do a spin for the camera. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. This Miami body. What is your name, please? Because right now I can't even. I'm feeling. I'm kind of delirious right now. Your beauty is just blinding my eyes. I can't. I can't see right now. Like what is happening here? What's your name, baby? Donna Vega. Donna Vega. Donna Vega. Is that like a nickname or your actual name? That's my stage name. I'm That's your stage name. Where, 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 where do you Where do you get that name from? Like how did you come up with that name? Well, my name is actually Donna okay. Vega. Came up with my cousin. We we're just talking about it. Vega means star, actually, and we we're oh. talking about how you know I can be big or whatever. So okay. she came up with it, and we we're like, hold on. I mean, with this beauty, you're gonna be big anyway. Her. I'm a, I'm a that. Nah, I'm all Give us a spin one more time. Give us a spin one more time. There we go. I like that. I like that. I like that. So today, without wasting your time, baby girl, I just want to know, like, what is the craziest thing you ever did for love? And how did you end up with that person? Like, what's the craziest thing? Maybe, like, you saved up money for your business and, you know, you love one guy, you spend it on any man, he ended up cheating on you or something crazy. What's the craziest thing you did for love? I guess putting them first. Putting them like, how did you put them first? What did you do? I don't know. I feel like. Tell me the story. Okay, so I haven't. I'm probably not the best candidate to keep y'all going, but okay. what I will say is that basically, I haven't had that many experiences with relationships, but the ones that I did have, um, I can say that I've definitely put them first, rather than me, in the sense of just letting them kind of like run my life that's not about it anymore i've definitely now you're a star bigger you're a star right exactly i'm dying now now you're chilling nobody can tell you anything you know what i'm saying but i felt like Mm. i felt like um just having that person direct your path i'll tell you what to do mind controlling you i feel like just me not realizing that was the craziest thing i did for that Putting uh, them first over myself. I feel you. I feel you. I mean, it can be crazy. You know, when you put people first over you, they tend to like take you for granted and do all sorts of things. You know right. what I'm saying? 
Right. Right. What, what, what's your Instagram for, for, for the people watching? You know what I'm saying? Because you're a body. Like, I can't stop. Right now, my mind is just, you know, everywhere. I can't even concentrate right now. Like, I'm just, you know, what, what, what's that Instagram, you know, so that they can follow you and, like, appreciate, you know, what God made. You know okay. what I'm saying? Well, my Instagram is Donna Vega. Very simple. Just my name. Donna with one N, D O N A. Put a period in between. Vega, V E G A A. And that's about it. And that's oh, about personal it. Personal stylist. Hit me up and period. All right. Well, what's one thing you have for people out there that are in love? What's, what's one advice you have for them? People that are in love. People that are in love? Yeah. What's one advice you have for them? Um, advice that I have for that are in love. I would say be consistent. Yeah, be consistent, consistent and do everything yeah, through love. Exactly. Talk through love. Exactly. Discuss through love. Speak for us one more time, oh man. Nah, nah. You're speak. Dramatic. Nah, nah, nah. Speak, speak for us one more time. One more time. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, come on, come on. Speak, speak for us one more time. Exactly. I, li- I like that. I like that. I like that. Yes, shorty. Yes, shorty. Shorty, you're looking so fine and all glowed up. Now, were well, you know, like, do you really plan to go like a casual date or something? <laughs> no, I just came from work. You just came from work. Yeah. Wow. Are you trying to entice your boss like this? Wow. Sir, spin for us, spin for us, spin for us. No, we no, don't want to do that. Come on, no, no. spin for us. You gotta show the people what God gave no, you. No, no. They said God said to show your glory. Spin for us. Come <laughs> next on. time, next time. Come on. Next time, I got you. Next, next time. time, there will be no next time. When I have a better outfit, one, I'll do it. Oh my God! All right, what's your name, by the way? My name is Doobie. Doobie, where are you from? Haiti. I'm Haitian. Que pasa? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, messing yeah. with you, man. I'm messing with you. I said, keep passing. That's just my reality. Yeah, you know, speaking oh that good for Oh my God. I don't even know what I was saying. Feel me? But yeah, are you are you a student? Yeah. What are you studying? Bio and psych. Uh, that's my, that's, so you study me right now with all that psych? Yeah, you crazy. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't waste your time. Let, let's go ahead. I want to ask you, what, uh-huh. what's the craziest thing you've ever done for love? And like, how did, we, how did it end Whoa. with that person? For love? Exactly. Mm, I mean, I've never really been in love, to be honest. But what have I done? You lie. I'm, I've never been in love. <laughs> I'm serious. But I think when the, the, I think if I were to be in love, one of mm-hmm. the craziest thing I would have probably done yeah. is <laughs> probably like leave my country to go live with them or leave my parents' house to like move in with them and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that would be crazy because, like, I don't believe in you know staying together before marriage. Uh-huh. So for me to do something like that, that would be like literally the craziest. That would thing. That would be like the craziest thing. Yeah. But what was the okay? Let me now say what's the near craziest thing you've done. Near crazy for love. Yeah. Mm, ooh. I remember I I spent a whole night stalking this guy. Yeah. I was literally like stalking like You're- from like. You like PM. a killer? You like a killer or something? <laughs> On social media, why, why are you it's like from ten, it's like every second I'm like, okay, I have to know what he's doing. From it was like from then, like ten PM uh-huh. to like four AM in the morning. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have no work to do, you are not busy, no assignments, no midterm. No. Just wasted almost eight Stop. hours of your life. I mean it was nice, it was cool. It was cool. Stalking people. <laughs> so did you end up working for the CIA, FBI? <laughs> I'm planning on that. Let me stop. You're no. planning on that. So, what information did you get after stalking? Um, it just there was a lot though. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. I found out. Oh, I even created a fake page. But anyways, oh this story is for another the time. Fake, the fake page. <laughs> but the I mean, I, page. I just found out that um, uh-huh. he didn't move on. You know, like he was Mendo. still stuck with you, huh? I love it. Yeah. So I was happy. When you move, did you move on? Yeah, right after. You right, you were you already moved on right after, but you yeah. were happy someone was stuck with you. Yeah. The heart of man very wicked. Very wicked. Can you hear that? So you were happy he was stuck with you. That's the whole but point. But you, you moved on. So he yeah. can run back to you like a little baby. Yeah, and then that's when I started pushing him away. Yeah. So what did you feel joy pushing him away? Like What do you mean? No. But you just said you liked it. Can we talk about some, can you ask another question, sir? Um, now you're trying to run away because you know what you did was bad. Hmm. Hmm. Not really, barely. But I feel, I feel, I feel. What's one, what's one advice you have for people that believe in love? You know what I'm saying? What's one advice? Do you believe in love, by the way? I do, I do. You do? I do. I feel like I do. I believe in love, but I don't think love is for everyone. Uh, I, I, see, don't I see. I don't know if that makes sense. Do you, do you, you, think, you think like sex 
it's a way to show that you love somebody? Not really. Not really. And I feel like we have so many good qualities, you know, in us as mm -hmm. human beings. I don't think we need sex to prove someone that what's, you love. What's them. your own good quality? Oh my god! Oh my god! My cooking. Oh. Your cooking. Yes. Who validated that? <laughs> Yourself. Everybody. Who's there? My family, my room. Where's the everybody? Friends, everyone. Me, I only see me and you right here. Where's the everybody? Well, you see, I bring you some food. I bring some good Haitian food. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm waiting. Put, cameraman, <laughs> put that, put that on the record. But yeah, what's one thing you have for people who believe in love, you know? Um, one thing I would tell them is mm. to, you know, stop searching, just let it come to you. Because sometimes, you know how, like, sometimes you like searching something, you'll never find it when you come down. So, you know, like, stop searching, just like wait, you know, for your times to come, you know, because everyone has someone out there. Just like, you know, just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Oh of God. course, I'm everybody saying. has their time. You know, you know like, like everybody sure does have their you time. You know, no matter whatever you went through, uh -huh. like just know that like it's just probably not your time, or this person just wasn't for you. No, exactly. that person is. So how, there, how so. many guys were not for you that you that you found out? How many? First of all, you need to mind your business. I, but I'm, um, I'm just trying to be, you know, inquisitive. What's that mean? wasn't that many when they say it's not that many it's like 20 <laughs> 30 no. No. what's your not many like what do you mean like what, hold on, what is the question about what's your not many you say was not that many guys I mean, like no, i was talking to a lot of people and then i stopped you know, so you're a ho -ho. is this allowed <laughs> of course we're alive baby what are you talking why, about why would you say something like I, I, to I'm a female I, no i'm asking them no because th that's one thing guys don't know there's a difference between talking to someone and dating them so if you're talking to multiple guys doesn't mean you're dating them okay okay, so technically okay. They're not i feel i was just trying to message you you know what i'm saying getting mm -hmm. your feelings never does i feel i feel all right like she said guys wait for your time like just wait for the time don't rush it because i know now there's a lot of people trying to rush into love and they confuse love for love like you you're always I'm talking saying. to some some girls no Let me girls see you on campus you anyway, see me on campus talking, me on campus i'm not yeah. i don't even go here uh, what well guys keep going. you already had her right what, what what's your instagram you know so i'm fe i'm feeling i'm feeling your drip Regardless of how basic it is, I'm still feeling your trip, but you're very beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. But what's the Instagram like so you know people it's can follow you? It's at Duvi, D-O-U-V-Y-Y-Y. Exactly, exactly. You can find me on Snapchat at Q underscore Duvi. Nah, nah, get out of my life. <laughs> get out of my video, man. Yes, guys, I have another goddess with me. I don't know, is there something special about Miami? Like, the girls here are just so pretty. I don't know, man. Like, bro, what do you do? I don't know, man. Like... I don't know even why I'm asking my cameraman. He can't even talk. But I don't know why the girls here in Miami are so like, baby girl, can you like just spin for us right now? Ooh, oh my God. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Ooh. I don't know if you like what you see, but I like what I see. Like, I am so mesmerized right now. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Sweetheart, what's your name? My name is Stephanie. Stephanie. Ooh, Stephanie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're welcome to KDB TV. I go by the name Uncle Sam Savin Rice. And I just wanted to know, you know what I'm saying, what's the craziest thing you ever did for love? Mm. And how did it end up with that person? Was it a thumbs up or was it a eh? Okay, um, the craziest thing I did, I just, I just like cut up a friend. That was it. Not too serious. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, the relationship, it went down bad. It, it went down bad? <laughs> I feel, I feel. You, what made you cut off that person? Because you know when you say you just cut off the person, you know yeah. want some juicy detail. You know where they're trying to hit on your man. Yeah, I you think know so. what I'm saying. And did you go to their house and like fight them? <laughs> you know, and do something, set their guys on fire. You know? It was a bit of drama. Like it was actually a lot of drama. Okay. So like this guy was like my best friend, right? And mm. then my boyfriend wasn't cool with that. He wasn't like that. He was like, you know, I don't trust this guy, best friend kind yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, he's my friend. I like him. And we we're fighting. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll cut off my friend. That's it. And so I go to my best friend. I'm like, look, yeah, this is not gonna work out. Like I have to cut you off. My boyfriend isn't cool with this. My best thing is heartbroken. I felt so bad for him. And um, even after that, like my boyfriend sends his gang of friends to come and like, you know take this guy out oh my god yeah it was it was a lot that's crazy it was crazy that's crazy yeah so you had to cut off the guy 
Yeah, but then like I couldn't like just do that to my friend, you know. So I was like, um, you know what? I'm leaving this relationship. Like, I bye. feel you. Exactly. Yeah. For, for a guy to do that, that means he's insecure. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. And friend girls like you don't need to be with insecure right. guys. You know, you have to be with a king that is, is secure in who he got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's secure in the queen he got. You know, and she's secure in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, what? That was I like that story though. It was so even though the crazy thing came from like your the guy's side, but at the yeah. end of the day you're still a part of it. So regardless, exactly. it was still a crazy experience. You know what I'm saying? But what's one what's one thing one one thing you want to give them as a takeaway for people watching right now? What's one thing about love you want to give them as a takeaway for for people that are watching? You know what I'm saying? It's not that deep, okay? Don't go all out. Don't cut up your friends. Don't don't do any of that, okay? Just live your life. Don't let anybody control your your relationship like that. That's what I gotta say. It's not exactly, worth it. guys. Live, live your life. Don't let anybody make you do what you don't want to do. Yeah. Live your life, baby girl. Just give us your Instagram name. You know, we can't just live here without having some way to connect with you again. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Give us that Instagram name. So it's you know underscore saying? queen, then underscore then IV with I V I E. Okay, it's yeah. underscore queen, another underscore. Ivy, Ivy, Ie. Yeah. Before we let you go, just give us a spin one more time. A bust a move, do something. You know what I'm no, saying? no, 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 no. I'm not a dancer. You know, oh, like, she ain't a dancer. We don't need to go there. Appreciate you, man. Come, 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 come. Appreciate that. Take it easy, okay? Thank you for coming on the show. Just tell them to follow KDB TV. You know what I'm saying? Just okay. let them know. Make sure you guys follow KDB TV. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Love you, baby girl. Safe. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So